So when you're using your Bistro every day and you're turning it off at 10 or 11 at night, you're still gonna have a lot of heat in this thing in the morning. To start it up every day, it's very simple. Just press the on off switch, wait for that flame to light. Once the flame lights, turn it all the way up. Turn it up to five. Heard the valve, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to five. What I wanna do is I really wanna blast this oven with heat for an hour, hour and a half. That's all it's gonna to take to bring it up to operating temperatures because you will have a lot of heat left over from the day before. Um, there are some things you can do while this oven's heating up. You have an awful lot of radiant heat in there so you can be cooking. You can be doing a lot of prep cooking in there, roasting vegetables. Uh, you can be, you can even you know, halfway to heat up, tone it down and, and do some, some more complicated prep operations. So the Bistro series, uh, the, the, the thermocouple in the floor is, is still about an inch from the floor surface. So the number on the readout is not always going to correspond to the number you're seeing with your non-contact thermometer. I'm up, I'm up to temperature. I'm up in the mid 500s. I really don't want the surface to get any hotter than that. This red number will catch up to that surface the longer the oven's on. But what I'm going to do now, so I don't overshoot my desired temperature, is just to back it off to about three. I want this flames to just be licking up and it, what that's gonna do is that's gonna hold the oven at the temperature I want. Um, this can be a little different setting depending on your installation, the ventilation you have this hooked up to, even the ambient temperature of the room. I mean, if you have an outdoor installation or an indoor installation, but about three is gonna hold this thing really steady in the mid 500s. Something you wanna do every day before you get started cooking is you wanna make sure the floor is really clean. You don't want your first pizzas to have burned flour from last night's production. I've got my T-style wire brush. I have a damp rag. Just put that in there and push it around. You can kind of go behind any debris you see. So you, you, what you're doing is you're, you're just getting that, any burned on dust and debris out of there so that it doesn't end up on your first pizzas. Uh, this is not a bad idea to swab the deck of this oven anytime you have a chance. Uh, in between little rushes, uh, every time you do a really thorough brush out of the oven, it's not a bad idea to, to just, just swab it briefly.